بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان پریویس پارٹ واٹ وی ہیو ڈن وی سیٹ اپ دا جینکنز آن جی کے کلسٹر ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سیٹ اپ دا پائپ لائن سو ایف یو ہیو واچ دیٹ پرٹیکولر پارٹ سمپلی نیویگیٹ ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ واچ دیٹ پارٹ رائٹ سو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کلک دس پائپ لائن Uh, I mean, I'm going to uh, click this uh, boxes, do not allow concurrent bills. Just uh, this is the basic setting. But now what we are going to do, uh, we are going to uh, navigate to our pipeline section, right? So uh, let me show you that part, right? Uh, right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to this pipeline and first of all, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to cover the CI part, which is the build with Kaneko, uh, which is the continuous integration. So guys, this is the pipeline. Uh, what you need to do um, is to simply copy uh, this pipeline and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, show you all the parts regarding that and Jenkins setup. But um for the moment what you need to do simply copy this guy right and paste it in jenkins so navigate to the jenkins section and simply um let me paste it All right um and regarding the configurations of jenkins uh simply now we are going to do that so if you navigate to the jenkins um uh, dashboard click this guy and simply navigate to the manage jenkins right so from here we are going to uh, click the manage jenkins sorry i mean manage credentials we are already in the manage jenkins so click this guy right and we are going to uh, create credentials so uh, this is now we are going to understand some of the part with regard to the pipeline So uh, this is the pipeline, right? And we are going to use Kaneko. So for our repo, right? Uh, this is the understanding of pipeline comes into play. So uh, we are going to use two container in the CI part. Then in the next videos, I'm going to cover the CI CD in a single pipe. But first of all, we are going to understand the CI part. So um, I'm going to call this uh, one con uh, first container repo. We are going to use Python Slim, right? And the other um, for the build process, we are going to use Kaneko. That is where we are not going to use the Docker software mounting. As you know that uh, Kubernetes in future uh, actually remove the Docker and also uh, mounting of Docker software uh, socket. Can uh, I mean in a container uh, from the security perspective is not. Uh, highly recommended so anyway um, you have already have the knowledge regarding all this so we are not going to waste time on this so um, this is the Kaneko image we are going to use that right so um, you see um, the mount path regarding these what are these now we are going to uh, cover this part like I mean first of all um, to uh, I'm going to send uh i mean my image is to uh, docker hub you can send to aws um, ecr as well you can send to uh, gcr as well so um, let me navigate to the section right so uh, this is our repo let me click uh, the kaneko official documentation uh, and i will show you the stuff uh, regarding the um, official uh, documentation provided by kaneko so um, it is a great tool uh, you can use it with docker and, and the logic is pretty much the same so we are uh, you know covering or you know doing the ca part with kubernetes you can use it with docker as well so um, the command which i'm going to show you um, you can um, simply use in your um, deployment so As I discussed, uh, we can send images to Docker Hub or any uh, private uh, Docker registry. 
so uh, my or public registry but definitely you, uh, when you need to push images you need to log in into that particular registry so um, regarding the you see uh, running Kaneko in docker you can do that as well um, in kubernetes uh, you can do that so the whole point is that the command uh, they have provided already there this is um, you know um, quite a big documentation in a way that um, depend on your use case for instance uh, where you want to send images so uh, for uh, kubernetes scared and uh, they also provide uh, the commands okay so do control f docker hub right so you see um, the gcr docker hub and all the um, i mean AOs, um it commands to uh, send uh, you know it provided all the documentation nice uh, documentation so uh, for instance uh, like i covered the videos uh, with regard to the gcr right uh, i mean gcp so uh, if um, if you want to use the um gcr registry for instance uh, you need to create that particular uh, file in the i mean create the service account right and um, from service account you need to create a key and use that key right so for gcr uh, you can use that uh, similarly um, for azure you can do um, the command which which are mentioned here right so uh, this is pretty much good documentation so you can follow this but um, as far as uh, sending docker uh, uh, sending images to a docker hub uh, it also uh, provides the command so from this documentation i've already added the stuff for you guys that we are going to follow um, uh, this is my docker hub repository right and i'm uh, need to log into this repository so uh, these are the commands let me show you that which i need to do so kubectl creates secret in docker registry right so let me do that um, let's see what they have provided okay it is uh, somewhere in the, the documentation, but these are the commands that we are going to follow, right? So uh, what you need to do, um, simply copy this command if you want to send to Docker Hub and if you want to send uh, images or push images to GCR, ECR, you can follow the documentation. So for Docker Hub, we are going to follow this. My user ID, right? Uh, my uh, Docker Hub access token you can simply get that from docker Hub console right and my user email so i'm going to put this i'm going to create a secret right and i will be back in a moment with you guys and that secret is going to be in namespace jenkins so guys uh, with regard to the creation of secrets uh, you can have get to my section of uh, CLI, uh, these are the credential we have created from that command which I've shown you, right? So let's navigate to the, the uh, part of the pipeline. As I discussed you, uh, this is the production ready, uh, ready stuff. So little bit of time you need to um, spend regarding the understanding, right? So uh, these are going to be mounted in um, this uh, mount path, right? So and config.json definitely is going to be inside this guy. So um, that's it, right? So other than that, uh, what is the repo cred ID, right? So as I'm using the GitHub, uh, what uh, the new feature GitHub introduced is uh, where you can uh, use specific repository token. And I'm going to show you that um, if you're in GitLab, or um, i mean any other um, repository provider right uh, 
source code uh, source code provider you can um, use the tokens i do recommend uh, to use those right so um, let me uh, show you uh, this part that uh, uh, this is uh, what we need to create in jenkins and i'm going to call this variable name so this or you can say that i'm converting this uh, variable name to this although you can use the same name on both sides so then we are going to log into our private repository right uh, you can create your private repository so th this is the whole point in production and that's why i'm showing you all the stuff in production we are not using the public repositories right we are using the private repositories so uh, we are going to echo this token and i'm going to install git although you can build your custom images uh, docker images and use those up, but the extra additional part i'm showing you here so uh, in this repo uh, this is uh, you can say it is our artifact uh, repository we are going to uh, we should have the docker file and all the stuff so then we are going to simply clone this um, repository via this command so this token is going to be you know encrypted right but definitely i'm going to show you this token and then i'm going to delete it so um what this repository is uh, okay so the name of this is jenkins kate ci cd so i intentionally um made uh i mean make it uh, you know private to give you a sense of uh a complete production ready uh, stuff so if you are using github uh, you can simply navigate to the settings and navigate to the developer settings right so if you are any other uh, if you have you if you are using gitlab or any other um, repos uh, you can simply uh, create your tokens from there so every repo has now um, this facility So guys, uh, this is the new um, feature introduced by GitHub, although it is in beta, but uh, what we are going to uh, do is to create a new token, right? Let me authenticate. So guys, uh, I have successfully authenticated. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call this uh, or name this token Cloud Geeks Dash. Uh, let's say call this Cloud Geeks um ca dash ci right so this is our uh, ci um expiration you can set any um you can use custom as well but definitely let it there so uh that is where you can give all the repository access uh, i mean public um all repository but we are going to select specific repository and i'm going to um, use this this one um um okay uh okay this one jenkins k8 cicd right i've selected it and as far as the permissions of the repository is concerned is concerned uh for this moment i want to give full access uh, you can do the fine grain uh as well but as this is the demo uh, you know i'm giving um all the access but to a specific repository that is the cool uh, you know thing instead of uh, this token you know giving access to all your repositories it is um, something which we can simply um, you know provide access to a specific repository and uh, it increases the security as well even in the you see specific repository you can have all the option so um this is not the tutorial to cover this but at least it's something we are in a way uh, secure to you know give only specific repository uh, these permissions so i'm going to simply copy this guy right and okay so let me let me open it. let it open right and what we are going to do uh we are going to simply create this token in the jenkins so navigate to the jenkins section add credential right 
and from here select secret text it is uh, going to be uh, this text simply copy this guy right so paste it here right and id is going to be this one and put the description whatever you want to want but i mean i'm going i usually do simply you know copy paste uh, to the same stuff so um, as far as the understanding of ci we are uh, we will be able to uh, pull this repo now right and i'm going to show you the steps now then this uh, you see these are the two containers this is the container repo where we are going to download this file and i'm going to show you the docker file as well and then um, we are going to use the second container which is of kenico um, these from artifacts from these repo are going to be available automatically in this container and I'm going to show you the stuff. So Kenico Executor is going to be available. We're going to use this busybox shell, right? And simply use this command. So uh, let me, um, if you navigate, I mean, simply um, move from this section, you can see the stuff. So, okay. Okay, so let me navigate back to uh, the section where I was. Okay. Navigate to this section, simply type A8. And this is the CICD. As this is the private repo, I'm going to show you this Docker file. And I'm using just Nginx, um, apt update, app install, WCLI, JQ. Although you can, you know, as I discussed, you can use your custom images, but just to give you more understanding regarding the packages, what we need, and all the stuff. So, what I will be doing, uh, this is my source code, for instance, my application. I'm going to put it here in this path, and that's it, right? So uh, this is our simple understanding regarding the build process, CA process. We're not uh, using Docker for that. We are not uh, mounting any stuff. So what I will be doing, uh, let me navigate to the Jenkins, right? Navigate to the Jenk uh, dashboard. Uh, this is the stuff which we have created. So configure, right? If everything goes well, uh, that's fine, but uh, like, um it's pretty much seems to be okay and uh, in case of any errors we are going to fix those errors so let's try to build and see what happened um, as i discussed guys uh, if you see these videos still and these uh, these videos give you a lot more understanding uh, regarding the production ready stuff you can do with you know CICD in Jenkins, uh, Kubernetes, and build with Canico. Uh, so uh, this is the future we should be using as you know regarding the you know build process, CICD process. So and then later I'm going to show you next videos how we can uh, use a single pipe to uh, do the build like CI and CD process uh, with Helm Jenkins in um, single pipeline. So you see, uh, could not uh, find credential repo cred ID, okay. Let me check that. So these are the errors you can simply um, and these are the part of you know understanding and uh, you know uh, part of DevOps area. So uh, what I'm going to do navigate to manage Jenkins uh, manage credential right. So as per error, it is unable to find that. So simply click on this. Okay. So you see, I've done a mistake. Um, I've created a private repo token 
which I was converting, uh, like uh, simply um, delete it. Okay. Or I'm going to, instead of, uh, okay, I think ID, I cannot um, update and I think I will not store the stuff regarding our secret right so these things uh, you can consider so but what we are going to do uh, we are going to create uh, credential again and we are going to store it so let me do that so guys uh, what i have done i've recreated uh, this uh, id and remove the old one so uh, let's navigate back to the pipeline and rerun it. So let's see um, if everything goes well. Um, we should be able to um, build our image with Canico and we are going to push it uh, to Docker Hub. Uh, so if you navigate to Docker Hub, you see last uh, push was 18 hours ago. And currently the pipeline is running. Let me show you the steps now navigate to the console output so right um, what it does it is going to install the AWS CLI and um, and simply pull our repo which is the private repo and it seems to be working fine and it has now um, the docker file the build process uh, regarding that and after that uh, as we have already provided the uh, credential of our repository um, which is the public registry uh, in docker uh, these are the stuff which i've already shown you in docker file it is doing that and once everything is uh, completed what it does it is going to push uh, push that particular image uh, into our um, docker hub repository so this is the part with regard to the cic sorry i mean ci continuous integration and i will show you stuff uh, from the pipeline so let me uh, show you the stuff so what it is uh, doing uh, it is creating image and pushing this image uh, to canico so uh, in the next videos i'm going to show you how you can update the specific tags and the CICD process with Helm, Jenkins, and all the stuff. So you see, it is finished a success. So if I navigate to um, to Docker Hub and try to refresh, hopefully this uh, might be updated, right? And we should have, you see, um, last pushed two seconds ago. And other thing uh, i need to show you um, you know this is some uh, thing which is i need to add regarding the understanding so you know definitely regarding the docker file uh, i shown you uh, it is installing the aws cli and add stuff so just for understanding uh, you know we have our docker file and let me show you that part um, i have done some basic command to give you more understanding regarding the ls you see so uh, i have done ls uh, this is you see this is pulled our private repo you see it is able to clone it and this is the secret which i have provided right and it is it has only access to this specific repo so it has cloned it uh, we have done the cd into this um all um Canico needs to build is you know is your Docker file, and in that Docker file you see we are copying stuff uh, in our you know image and push to our um, Docker Hub. So guys, uh, that is it regarding the CA part. In the next video, I'm going to work, cover the CI/CD part. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. And have a nice day.